Hey guys, this is MathCamp321 presenting a video on graphing quadratic functions. What is a quadratic function? Well, a quadratic function is a function in the form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. ax squared is called the quadratic term, bx is called the linear term, and c is called the constant. The graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola. Some of the parabolas we will study will open upwards, while others will open downwards. For parabolas that open upward, the lowest point, or minimum, is called the vertex. For parabolas that open downward, the highest point, or maximum, is also known as the vertex. Parabolas have an axis of symmetry which runs through the vertex and splits the parabola in half. Right now I'm going to give you an illustration to the top right of a parabola that opens upward. Maybe some of you have never seen a parabola before, so I'm going to show you what it is. A parabola kind of looks like the letter U of the alphabet. So I'm going to draw a right side up parabola. So this parabola right here is right side up, it opens upward, and this low point is called the vertex, and it happens to be a minimum. Now some parabolas open downward, and I'm going to draw an example of that right now. Again, this point here at the top is called the vertex, but now because it's the highest point on the purple graph, we're going to refer to it as the maximum value. If we were to draw a vertical line through the vertex, this line would split the parabola into two parts. So therefore, this line is sometimes known as the axis of symmetry because each side of the parabola would be symmetric over this green line. So when you're looking at parabolas, perhaps the most important point is going to be this point called the vertex. And in order to find the vertex, or in order to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, we're going to use the formula negative b over 2a. And the b and the a come from our initial function. Let's take a look at an example. Number one, Determine a, b, and c for the quadratic function given, then determine the vertex, and create a table of five values. Find the y-intercept and identify the axis of symmetry sketch. So in this question, they want us to do a lot of different things. Let's start by identifying a, b, and c. Now a is the quadratic coefficient, so in this case that's going to be 1. B is the linear coefficient, and that's going to be 3. And C is the constant, or negative 1. Now the x-coordinate of the vertex can be found using the formula negative B over 2A. So specifically for this problem, it's going to be the opposite of B, or negative 3, over 2A, or 2. So the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 3 halves or negative 1.5. Now, we're asked to construct a table of five values for our parabola. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the x-coordinate of the vertex right in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the integers that fall below negative 3 halves and that fall immediately above negative 3 halves. So right below negative 1.5 would be negative 2, followed by negative 3. And right above negative 1.5 would be negative 1 and 0. To complete the table, I'm going to plug these values into the initial function and solve for y. When I plug in 0, or if I substitute 0 into the initial function, I end up getting negative 1. If I plug in negative 1 into the initial function, I get 1 minus 3 minus 1, or 1 minus 4, or negative 3. I'll save the fraction for last. If I plug in negative 2, I get negative 2 squared, or 4, minus 6, minus 1, or 4 minus 7 which is also negative 3. And then if I plug in negative 3, I'm going to have 9 
minus 9 minus 1 or 0 minus 1 or negative 1. So now we've got to plug in this fraction and see what happens. Okay, negative 3 halves squared is 9 fourths. I'm just going to go up here where I have a little bit of space to work with. Uh, and then I'm going to get negative 9 halves and then minus 1, which I'll call negative 1 over 1. Now a common denominator for all of these fractions would be 4. So I'm going to leave the 9 alone. I'm going to make this minus 18 and then I'm going to make this minus 4. So in the end this is going to be 9 minus 22 or negative 13 fourths. which is negative 3 and a fourth. So now I have five key points that I can graph to hopefully accurately sketch this parabola. And the point in the middle is the vertex, the all-important vertex. So now I'm going to set up my scale. And my x's range from negative 3 to 0. And my y's range from negative 3 and a quarter to negative 1. So maybe I'll go down to negative 4. Okay, let's plot these points. We'll start with 0, negative 1. Then we'll go to negative 1, negative 3. Then we'll go to negative one and a half, negative three and a quarter. Then negative two, negative three. And then negative three, negative one. And now to the best of our ability, we'll try to draw this parabola. I'm going to start by putting my pen at the vertex. And I'll scoop up from the right and then I'll repeat scooping up to the left. Okay, that wasn't so bad. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in the axis of symmetry as well. Okay, the axis of symmetry is the line that splits the uh, parabola in half. So I'm going to abbreviate that AOS, axis of symmetry. And the equation of that line is going to be x equals negative 3 halves. We were also asked to find the y-intercept, and we actually found that inadvertently. I wasn't, I wasn't searching for it, and it just sort of, it just sort of happened. The y-intercept is right over here, and it happens to be the ordered pair 0, negative 1. And I think I'm going to label the vertex because that's the, probably the most important point on any parabola. So the vertex is negative 3 halves and then negative 3 and a quarter. Okay, so on this slide we discussed what a quadratic function looks like, how to find the vertex, and to how to sketch a graph using the, this five-point approach.